A very good morning. I am Lakshmi Narayana Gunta, PGT in Zoology at AP Modern School and Junior College, Karvanja, Jalmuru Mandal, Sri Kakram District. Today, we are going to discuss the different health aspects of our alimentary canal. The first health aspect is vomiting. What is vomiting? Vomiting is our body's method of ridding itself of harmful or unwanted substances from the stomach. You might have experienced this vomiting at least once in your lifetime. What is the cause behind it? What is the process that takes place during this vomiting? Let us discuss this. As we already have discussed in our earlier segments, the peristaltic moments which we observe in our alimentary canal. These peristaltic moments, they are the wave-like moments that are observed in our alimentary canal which results in the movement of the foot inside the alimentary canal. Actually what happens during this vomiting is the peristaltic movements of the stomach and the esophagus they reverse their normal direction. Generally the peristaltic movements they start uh, from the top to bottom. Okay, Here you can observe normal peristaltic movements. During normal peristaltic movement what happens the circular muscles present above the foot or present above the foot bolus, they contract and at the same time the circular muscles present below the foot, they get relaxed. Okay. As a result, the foot is squeezed. The foot is squeezed. It is observed during normal peristaltic moments. In vomiting, what happens is the peristaltic moments, they get reversed. Okay. What happens here? The circular muscles present below the footballers, they contract and the circular muscles present above the footballers, they get relaxed. As a result, the food is expelled out. The food is expelled out. This process is called as vomiting. Okay. And why this happens? What are the causes behind this vomiting? Most common cause is overeating of food and Eating food with high proportion of fat, it causes vomiting. And the second most important cause is taking poisonous food or very indigestible food. It also causes vomiting. Okay. Some mushrooms, they are poisonous. If we take them, automatically it causes vomiting. Okay. And the other cause for this vomiting is taking rich meal for several days. Rich meal means which consists of high nutrients, high calorie food, high calorie food for several days. Okay. It causes this vomiting and this also causes green vomit. Often we have seen this green vomit. Okay. This green vomit, it is caused because of the dysfunction of liver. That's why it is called as bilious or liveris. This condition is called as bilious or liveris during which the bile juice is secreted in more amounts than its normal range. Okay. That is called, that condition is called as bilious or liverish. Okay, this is about vomiting. And let us go to the next uh, thing that is indigestion. We have heard about this indigestion a number of times. We too have faced that type of situation. This indigestion, it is the difficulty in digesting the food. The indigestion is nothing but the difficulty in digesting the food. What happens actually? The food is not properly digested. Often we might have an uneasy sensation in our stomach. This indigestion, it is caused because of a number of reasons. Taking heavy food and taking spicy food, uh, they may also cause indigestion. And it may be caused because of duodenal or stomach ulcers. And these ulcers, see here you can observe, they are stomach ulcers and these are duodenal ulcers. These ulcers, they are the extra growth of tissue inside the stomach, which causes the indigestion. Okay. This indigestion, it is mostly seen in busy people who are habituated for hurrying our meals. These people, they rush from one activity, rushing from one activity to other activity without any rest. And in such type of people, the indigestion is observed. And as they are habituated for hurrying our meals, they may take meal very quickly and they may not masticate it properly. And all these are causes for the indigestion. And what are the steps that we have to take to escape from this indigestion. How to avoid this indigestion? Okay, we have to take simple and balanced diet. 
simple diet and it should be balanced diet. Balanced diet means our food should contain all the nutrients in appropriate amounts. Okay. And we have to limit spicy foods. Spicy foods also they may cause indigestion. And during we eating, we should not be hurry and we should uh, eat in a leisurely manner. And the next one is thoroughly mastication. We have to masticate the food. We have to chew the food so that it is thoroughly mixed with the saliva. And the most important thing is we have to avoid violent exercise immediately after taking the food. Okay. And we also have to drink plenty of water and it should be taken periodically. And we have to avoid uh, drinks uh, that contain caffeine. These are uh, some of the measures that we have to take to avoid indigestion. And the next aspect, health aspect that we are going to discuss is malnutrition. Malnutrition is defined as taking in food that lacks one or more than one nutrients in required quantities, in required amounts, is called as malnutrition. What are the causes for this malnutrition? The most important reason for this malnutrition is poor health. Some of the people, even though they take food, good quality of food, balanced food, their health is poor. As a result, the food that person takes in, it may not be digested properly. If it is digested, it may not be absorbed properly. If it is absorbed, it may not be assimilated. This all causes the malnutrition. The first one is poor health. And the second one is willful starvation. Starvation is also a cause for malnutrition. And lack of awareness is also a cause of malnutrition. As some people, they always, they try to take this carbohydrate rich food only. Okay, they may avoid protein rich food. And they, some people, they always, they depend upon junk food. And some people, they always depend upon fatty food. These are all because of the lack of knowledge of these nutritional habits also is a cause for malnutrition. And the next important factor is social and economical factors. The most important social factor is poverty. Because of the poverty, the people, they may not be affordable to buy or to purchase quality food. As a result, malnutrition is observed in those people. And this malnutrition is divided into three types, three types of malnutrition. Before we go, we move to that one. Let us observe the definition given by World Health Organization, WHO, Geneva, Switzerland. The definition given by the World Health Organization is malnutrition refers to the deficiencies, excesses or imbalances in a person's intake of energy and or nutrients. Okay. Deficiency of nutrients, excess of nutrients, imbalance in take of intake of nutrients, they all causes malnutrition. This malnutrition is three types. It may be because of calorie deficiency, which is called as calorie malnutrition. It may be because of protein malnutrition, protein deficiency. And it may be because of both calories and proteins. That is called as protein calorie malnutrition. Let us discuss some examples to make it a clear one. The first one is Pashyorka. Pashyorka is a disease observed in children because of the deficiency of proteins in their diet. These children, they are suffering from Pashyorka disease. It is due to protein deficiency in diet. As the protein is deficient in those children, as you know, the protein is very much essential for the muscle formation. As the protein is deficient in these children, the muscle formation in the children is poor and they are found with the swollen body parts. Why the body parts are swollen? Means water is accumulated in their body. As a result, the body parts, they are swollen and fluffy face, poor muscle development. These are the symptoms of this disease. Swollen legs, the legs of these children are swollen. The most important symptom in these children is diarrhea and dry skin. Diarrhea is nothing but dilute stool, dilute stool. As a result, more amount of water is lost. Reabsorption of water is not absorbed properly. As a result, more, more amount of water is, more amount of water is excreted. As a result, their skin, they, it becomes dry. Dry skin and the diarrhea are also symptoms of this Pashyorka disease. And the next disease is marasmus. Marasmus is a type of malnutrition found in children which is observed because of the deficiency of both proteins and calories in the diet. 
this marasmus it is also caused because of immediate second pregnancy or repeated childbirths as we know there should be a minimum gap of 2 years between the first child and the second child if it is not there this type of marasmus condition is also observed in those children and it is also observed in repeated childbirths in some families we may observe this re repeated childbirth they also cause this marasmus okay and the symptoms include lean and weak body as carbohydrates and proteins both are deficient in these in these uh, in the diet of these children they look lean because of the deficiency of proteins and they are weak because of the deficiency of carbohydrates okay they these children they look lean and weak as proteins are absent muscle development is poor and swelling in these joints and diarrhea dry skin these are all common in marasmus okay this diarrhea and uh, dry skin they are seen in pashoka disease also okay in contrast to these two mal malnutritional diseases the next one is obesity obesity is another condition which is observed due to over eating and excess of calorie intake here in this picture you can observe this is obesity condition in this condition the children they gain they gain more weight as a result they, it leads to a number of other diseases like diabetes type 2 diabetes heart diseases hypertension arthritis arthritis joint pains etc means this obesity it leads to a number of other diseases like diabetes and cardiovascular diseases renal and gall bladder problems all these are observed in obesity children okay in our next segment we are going to discuss the vitamins and their deficiency diseases thank you for watching and follow me on youtube simply by typing lakshminarayana thank you